The Battle of Tippecanoe was one of the first major battles that Tecumseh and his new confederacy fought and became one of the prime reasons Tecumseh and his Pan-Indian alliance allied with the British for the War of 1812. Contrary to what the title may imply, the Battle of Tippecanoe was not a dispute over the Americans tipping over canoes. Tecumseh and his brother Tezcahuatoa, a prophet, had the goal of uniting separate Indian communities into a confederation centered around their town, a prophet's town. Tecumseh left to gain more Indian allies and left his brother in charge of Prophetstown. Governor Harrison took advantage of Tecumseh's absence and began his march with an army of a thousand men to destroy Prophetstown and the Pan-Indian Confederacy. Con Governor Harrison was met by one of the Indians relaying word that Tenskawatawa wanted a cease of hostilities until negotiations the following morning. Governor Harrison set up camp nearby Prophetstown at the intersection of Tippecanoe and Wabash River. Knowing of possible treachery, Harrison tells the men to stay alert for a surprise attack. Under much consideration and prayer, Tenskawatawa decided that he would have the advantage if he initiated a surprise attack on the Americans. Such orders to attack the Americans was di in direct opposition to what Tecumseh told him. The following morning, the Indians found most of Governor Harrison's men asleep other than a few guards, so they initiated their surprise attack on the camp. The attack was sudden and quickly overran the camp of surprised soldiers, despite Governor Harrison's warning. The Indians attacked in two waves. The first wave attacked from the south with the intention of driving the soldiers up to the second wave coming down from the north. Governor Harrison gathered his troops together in the center of the camp and set up a line of fire to fight back. This stopped the Indians right in their tracks. It was effective against the Indians, and with great loss of numbers, the Indians retreated back to Prophetstown, with Harrison's forces in pursuit. By the time Governor Harrison and his forces arrived at Prophetstown, the town was entirely deserted. Afraid of reinforcements being brought by Tecumseh, Governor Harrison ordered his men to burn down Prophetstown. With this action, Governor Harrison claimed that this was a victory over the Indians. When Tecumseh returned to find the ashes of Prophetstown, Tecumseh went searching for his brother, and when he found him, he claimed that his powers as a prophet had been stripped from him, and for the destruction of Prophetstown and the loss of many, many Indian warriors, Tecumseh exiled his brother.